So this $10 red lippy is still giving. Hey beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia, if it's your first time here. So I like to wear red lips every single day for the month of December. This is just something that makes me feel festive. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorites today. If you wanna see how I wear them, then of course, keep on watching. The first, all right, so the first lipstick I'm gonna go with is a classic. And this is Ruby Woo by MAC. This is like, in my opinion, a universal red. Like everyone can pull this off. But if you're intimidated by it, I'm also going to show you how to tone it down and make it work for you. So when I'm going out, I'm usually wearing a red lipstick. That's just, that's what makes me feel the most sexy, the most feminine. So I have this in my purse at all times. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the Ruby Woo pencil. I'm going to go in with our Ruby Woo. Look at how rich and gorgeous this is. I just love this. It makes my teeth look extra white. I love that. And it's just this super matte, vibrant red. So I absolutely love this red. And I feel like everyone will love this red too, especially if you just know how to work with it. So everyone that I see wearing Ruby Woo just looks amazing in it. It just gives off something different on every skin tone. So I just love this one. The only con is this is a matte and it's a super drying matte. It is very drying. So if you have dry lips already, I don't know how you're gonna like this. If you just don't like that kind of tugging on your lips when you apply a lipstick, you probably won't like it. For me, I don't care, I don't mind. I just, I'm always moisturizing my lips anyways. So I just make sure that I'm moisturized real well before I wear it, I work with it. <laughs> Another thing I like about this, it makes my lips look a little bit more full, which, you know, I don't have the most full lips. So yeah, I, I just love this one. So now I'm gonna pair that with this Night Moth liner. This is also by MAC. You don't necessarily need a MAC pencil. You can get like NYX has good dupes for these. This is like a purple. How do you call this now? This is like a plummy purple, deep purple. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with this and then be right back to show you how it looks. And I suck at lining my lips, guys, so I just go in with some of my concealer. I have my little eyebrow brush. And I'll just go ahead and clean it up. And when I put on the Night Moth pencil, I just go from like feeling sexy to feeling like a baddie, like bud girl. Like this is giving me bud girl vibes, okay? This is definitely still gonna tone it down if you are uncomfortable, but still giving you that red. That's like a plummy color, like I said, but anything, if you need to use like a darker brown, any kind of liner, just play with it until you're comfortable. I guarantee you, you'll be able to wear that red lipstick that you thought you weren't able to wear if you just pair it with a good lip liner. So now I'm gonna show you guys it in a more affordable red. And this one is the Morphe brand. And the shade is actually called Morphe. So this is more of an affordable red, but it's still giving. And I feel like it definitely seems like universal to me. So I had to show you guys this one. So this $10 red lippy is still giving. It's not as drying as Ruby Woo, but it is a, a liquid matte lipstick, so it still gives that same effect. But like I said, not as drying, and it's only $10. So I'm loving this one as well. I feel like it has a little bit more orangey in it on me, but I'm actually going to swatch them side by side for you guys. I should have did that, but um, let's see. This is gonna be Ruby Woo, my favorite. So that's Ruby Woo, and that's a Night Moth pencil. And then I'm gonna swatch the uh, Morphe one right beside it. Don't mind my swatches, but that's a little bit more of a deeper red. And it doesn't dry too fast, but it does dry pretty fast. 
and I like that. I feel like this one is definitely a little bit toned down. So if you don't want that super bright in your face red like Ruby Woo gives you, this one is a good alternative as well. And of course you can pair it with whatever pencil you want to if you feel like that's something you need to do. Is my, so this next lippy is my newest one and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. You guys will see just now, but this is the packaging. This is the Guerlain lipstick and the shade is, this is number 80. All of these are mattes. Of course, I just love a good matte lip. So let's try this one on. Do you see how easy it's gliding on? It's like the most, whew, this formula. So like I said, this is the newest one to my collection, but it might just be my favorite. This is my new going out red because of course I have to show off this beautiful packaging. This is like a red velvet. This is more of a high end red, but it is absolutely worth every dollar because the formula is super creamy, smooth, easy. It's not gonna pull or tuck on your lips and it's still giving matte, but it's a comfortable matte. Like you don't even know you have something on your lips. The formula just literally blew me away on this one because I was afraid that it would have a little bit of a shine to it because I know it's not the most matte lipstick, but no. It's still giving matte on me, as you guys can see, but it's just super comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it beside Morphe. It's actually, it looks like it's closer to the Ruby Woo. Just the formula is different. So it looks, to me, it looks closer to Ruby Woo, but you can see the formula is different. Like the Ruby Woo is very dry, and this one is just a little bit more creamy. So it's not a satin, but it definitely is not as dry as the Ruby Woo. But I am obsessed. Like, I love this red. I just feel so good. Um, it doesn't make my teeth look as white as Ruby Woo does. Still looks good. And like I said, my favorite part is that it's just super, 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 super comfortable. All right, guys. So my lips are stained and a little bit dry. Actually, a lot dry. But we're going to keep this show going. This is new to MAC. This is the liquid lipstick version of Ruby Woo. It's called Ruby Few. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and try that on. This kind of doe foot applicator, it's kind of flat. So it should apply really nicely. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right next to Ruby Woo so we can see what it's given here. So let me know down below if you guys feel like Ruby Few is giving Ruby Woo. I just love a good classic red lip. So I don't know if these are coming off as the same color to you, but for me, they're all different and they all just look so sexy in their own way. So I've let it dry a bit, but this right here is Ruby Woo. And then right beside it is Ruby Few. And as you can see, yes, it's pretty much given the same thing. And it's a lot more comfortable than the Ruby Woo. All right, BDs. So I've tried on all the red lipsticks that I wanted to show you guys today. If you want to see more, let me know down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite red lipstick is. I hope this video was able to help you to get more comfortable with wearing reds or picking a red that will work for you. If it did, of course, let me know that down below as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.